not a game. So... is known as MG. MG is the abbreviation. Okay. So it is Myasthenia Gravis Awareness Month. And so today I created um, this teal look with um, snowflakes. The ribbon color is teal. And um, we are considered rare snowflakes because the disease impacts everyone um, a little differently. Even though um, Primarily, like if you have generalized MG and so forth and so forth, a lot of your symptoms will be similar. But it, it's very odd, and so we are considered snowflakes because we all vary um, in, in some you know way in what we experience with MG. Um, so I dedicate this video right here to all of my fellow MGers and uh, those of you with family and friends. Uh, someone you know out there that loves someone who has MG. So um, it is my Estonia Gravis Awareness Month. I haven't told my story for four years, so make sure you check out that video next. Okay? I love y'all, and let's get into this video. This is primarily the eye look. I focused on the eye look for this one because um, it is a lot of detail, and so I didn't do a full face, but. If you do look at some of my other makeup tutorials, I have plenty of full face tutorials for y'all. But this is for Myasthenia Gravis Awareness Month. And it's an eye look, okay? Um, I mean, I got my whole face done, but um, the video, like I said, is for the eye show, okay? So, I hope y'all enjoy my love. Let's get it. Today, I figured... June is my skin and gravis awareness month, so today I am going to do a fun eye look for you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera real fast, and then I'm going to probably do one eye, come back, and then, you know, take over with a voiceover from there. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. To all the snowflakes, all my fellow MGers out there, I love y'all. Stay strong. Um, just prayers. And um, nothing but love for y'all, okay? So let's get on with this video. Y'all ready? Alrighty, my love. So as you can see, my brows are done and I'm beginning with one eye already done. So I'm gonna show you how I got this on the other eye. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. It has 35 lovely pressed pigments in this palette. I'm gonna use this uh, brush. It is from BH Cosmetics as well. But I'm gonna apply this royal blue shade of eyeshadow and I'm just going to pack that on to my lid. And I really want these colors to pop so I'm really going to pack that on really nicely. I'm using this pop beauty it's uh their setting spray so i'm gonna mist my brush with that just so the pigment will pick up better and it will show i'll get more color payoff this way so you should actually be able to see that the blue is showing up pretty good and it also helps that i prep my eye with concealer but as you can see I'm using a lighter blue shade and I'm actually mixing two because um, I don't want it to be like super light but I want like a really pretty light blue shade and I found that mixing them together I get what I want. So I'm applying that and blending it up and above even the crease. I'm just trying to blend out what's on my lid. Okay. And I'm going back into the blue again 
It's like a layering type of effect to really get that gradient look with your colors when you're building with the eyeshadow. You kind of just apply, you lose a little bit of the pigment or the color, you go back, blend it out, apply some more. So it just requires patience, y'all. And I'm just taking this blending brush and just blending that out again. Now this time I'm going into a really dark, like a navy blue shade. And I'm using this uh, crease brush here. It's like a pencil brush. Um, this one is one of my B-Stoke brushes from Amazon. So I'm just really applying that in my crease and just concentrating on that. Okay, and I'm going back into the light blue shade again with that blending brush and I'm going to blend so that those colors come together, if that makes sense, okay? So hopefully y'all are getting this and I'm bringing the color up like higher and leaving a little bit of that brow bone exposed, but just trying to make sure that a majority of my lid is covered. And I'm going back into the first shade of blue that I use, which is like that royal color. And I'm applying that back to my lid. And I'm also going to use that to blend all the shades together. If that makes sense to y'all, hopefully. This is that navy blue shade going back into the crease again to define it a little bit more. And it'll begin to kind of make more sense as you guys see it coming together, okay? And just using that same blue again to blend that all in and make sure that those colors go together flawlessly. The same royal blue again. And as you can see the intensity, it's really getting like really dark and it's well pigmented the more I pet on okay so this is my elf 16 hour camel concealer in fair rose i'm going to take that and do um a cut crease with that and it's kind of um i don't really want to say it's a partial cut crease but it kind of is because i could have went up a little higher and took it out a little bit more but um that's not what I'm going for. So just take your time with this. This concealer is nice and thick. And the Fair Rose is pretty light. And since I really want my colors to pop, I really love cutting my crease with that. And I really like the consistency. It's nice and thick, but you just want to make sure that it's dry, you know? So now I'm taking that first blue shade, that royal blue color, and I'm packing that on to the outer V, okay? And as you can see, because the concealer is so light, that color is really showing up nicely already. I'm gonna take the two light blue shades once again, and I'm going to pack those on next to that royal blue shade. I like how nicely the colors go together because it's different shades of blue. But I'm gonna blend that with that blending brush that I was using before, just blending those together. And I'm taking that pencil brush again for the crease and I'm gonna use that on the outer V and I'm using that like navy blue type shade um, because we wanna give it some dimension and um, I'm going to pack that on pretty heavy. And like I said, I'm focusing on the outer V. And we're going to blend that as well. We wanna make sure that everything blends. And I'm gonna use this Essence, it's called Smoky. It's a, um, like a pencil. And um, I'm gonna use that. And it's white. I'm just using that before I apply the white eyeshadow because it's gonna help it look very like snow white. It's gonna make the white really pop. 
So that's why I'm using that first, okay? It's kind of like the um, eyeshadow crayon or, you know, whatever. It's kind of like that. But you can also, like, line your waterline with that and it really shows up well. But here's the white from the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm going to pat that on over where I applied that white, okay? So white on white. You see how that kind of sets that? So basically that's what it does. And then I'm just taking the blue and packing a little bit more of that light blue on and making sure that it all blends with the white. And I'm just taking a wipe. I'm using a makeup removing wipe and cleaning up around my eye, underneath my eye. And then I'm just blending that out to make sure there are not any like sharp edges so everything looks seamless. Y'all see that? It's coming together. Yeah. And so now we're going back into the royal blue color again. And I am actually applying this. Um, I'm applying it under my eye. So it's like I'm kind of using that to line my eye, okay? And then that navy blue color with that pencil brush, I'm gonna go all up into my waterline with that, okay? We really trying to make this, we trying to show out, okay? This is for Myasthenia Gravis Awareness Month. We gotta go hard or go home. So I'm taking that light blue the two light blue shades that I was kind of mixing a little bit together. I'm taking that and I'm going to blend that towards the bottom underneath that. Just I'm using that to blend out those, uh, the royal blue and that navy blue. So that goes underneath those colors to kind of blend it out some. And then I'm just taking a wipe again and cleaning up so that, you know, when I apply my makeup, it doesn't look like I have a black eye or something. You know, that's not hot. And that's a blending brush. You wanna make sure that you blend that out too. So it'll be softer than eyeliner. But this right here, I actually got this little glitter. It's like a glitter gel. And I got that from Amazon. Um, it's like a whole little set. But I'm taking one that is sort of a turquoise shade. And I am aligning where my crease is cut so right on that line i'm going to line all the way across okay take your time when you do this it helps if you look down um because it's wet so like when you do look up you can transfer some of the glitter onto another part of your eye and um it'll kind of make it look a little messy so that's why i'm trying to focus on number one taking my time and looking down but I'm bringing that all the way into my inner eye, okay? And then I'm making sure that I go over it so that it stands out and it's defined. I have this little cute little fan that I got from Amazon. I love it, y'all. But I'm just continuing to look down and then I'm using the fan to help dry the glitter liner okay so now we got to focus on our lashes so and I'm trying to skip ahead a little too far ahead but we have to do our snowflake y'all my bad so um, for the snowflake I use the NYX um, it's like their eyeliner, their liquid liner. That's what I'm using. And mine is a little kind of on the dry side. Um, I mean, it's working, but I have to like really shake it up and dig back in there. Cause like the top part of the liner was actually a little crusty, but it's working. And as you can see, I'm taking my time. I made like a cross and then and once you do that, you just kind of make little V's at the end and it makes it look like a snowflake. 
Y'all almost forgot all about the snowflake. I thought that, you know, doing snowflakes would be much harder, but it's actually pretty easy. You just want um, to make sure that whatever brush you use is pretty thin. So it would help if my eyeliner wasn't as dry as what it is. I mean, it's working, but um, it would be more defined. And it also helps if you buy some like paint brushes or something from Michaels, you can use the little thin brushes that you can buy uh, for regular painting. Painting brushes are really good for detail when you're doing um, makeup looks that are, um, you know, outside of the norm, more artistic and creative. Yeah, so I'm just kind of just adding a little bit more detail to the snowflake. As I was telling you, making those little V's on the ends. Kind of reminds me of um, like when I make like a, a tree or a tree branch or something like that. I use a similar technique, like if I'm drawing on paper. I used to love to draw. And I'm taking that out a little bit further um, towards the end of that brow. Just because I don't have a whole lot of lid space, y'all. Y'all see I got these like really super slanted eyes and I don't have a lot of lid space. So like some of the looks that I really would love to wear, um, they look different on me because <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to work with. So. We're taking that same glitter that we used in the crease and I'm just going over some of the lines towards the center of that snowflake just to help add a little more detail to the snowflake. I'm not overdoing it, just really being light handed with that. Okay. We are lining our eye. And I'm using this Kingma Liquid Black Waterproof blah, blah, blah. Kingma Liquid Black Waterproof Eyeliner, Eyeliner Pin. Yeah, I can't talk today. What the heck? So now I am using this. Um, it's L'Oreal Voluminous Base Primer. It's white, okay? And the reason I use this is for my bottom lashes because they are so thin and hard to find, but that primer brings them out. But at the top, on my top lashes, I'm using Elf Length and Volume Mascara in Black. This mascara is really good. I like the consistency of the mascara. It coats the lashes and I don't get a whole lot of clumping depending on how I apply it. So on the bottom lashes, I'm using Annabelle Skinny Mascara in Black, another um, product that I order from Amazon. Y'all, I find some of the best makeup products. I find some of the best everything on Amazon. But we're gonna use this um, Duo Glue and we are going to apply some little like rhinestones. Add a little bling up here. So I'm gonna do three dots. And you wanna take your time when you do that. You don't want like a really thick glob of glue there. I'm gonna use my tweezer and I'm just placing the rhinestone where I applied the glue, pressing it in with the tweezer, and that makes it stay, okay? So here are the rhinestones that I'm using. They kind of stick onto the little clear paper here. And I'm taking the tweezer to pull that off. Okay, and now I'm going to go in and press that where I applied the glue, press down on it, and it stays. Like, it doesn't, fall off or anything like that it stays exactly where you put it they have a little bit of adhesive or something behind them too so they don't fall off and lastly we're gonna do that third one y'all have to try this if you guys have never like explored um, and you know done different stuff with your makeup it's fun but the lashes I'm going to use um, are these um, elf Luke's Lash Kit. It's the Style Starstruck. 
they're not super dramatic um, which I love because um, it would have took away from this look I really want the focus to be on the actual eyeshadow look so it adds just enough you know to that eye and I'm feeling it because your girl is dancing and stuff listen to my music but voila this is the final look y'all I did the rest of my makeup off camera so because today you know I wanted to focus on the eyes and I do have a lot of full face tutorials up so I'll continue to mix it up for y'all but how are y'all liking these snowflake eyes this MG inspired eye look <laughs> all right all right all right i hope that y'all enjoyed this makeup tutorial video today for the eyes because we are fabulous um but yeah y'all um this was not a look that you know i would wear like on an everyday basis or anything like that but um for my skin and graduate awareness i thought it was nice and festive and it's good for putting awareness out there and sharing, you know, I have something to share with you all, something about me, you know, I'm letting you guys in on something important um, that I'm going through and you guys help me get through it, so why not? So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful to officially become one of my lovelies. What do you have to do? It's easy. All you gotta do, girl, all you gotta do, yes. All you gotta do is, um, what? Boop press that subscribe button and while you're at it don't forget to bing tap the alert bell because when you do that you will not miss out on any of my videos any of the fun that we are having going on you will be up to date you will have the tea on everything okay all of the LAL fam stuff okay you will be in you will not miss a beat so I love y'all please share this video y'all on your pages please um, wherever you can share it, please share it. Um, and also, you know, put my channel out there because I really, really, really need more of you in the fam. The more support, the better, the more of you I have on my journey. So I love y'all. Happy MG Awareness Month. Happy June. And, um, and yeah, y'all, I'm going to catch you in the next one. Don't forget to check out my video on my MG story. All right. I love y'all. Bye-bye. Adiós.